What's up guys? This is Corey. Welcome to CNA Films and Animation. Today I'm going to be talking about another Best Picture nominated movie. This one from 1946, The Yearling. So The Yearling was directed by Clarence Brown and it starred Gregory Peck, Jane Wyman, and Claude Jarman Jr. And it follows uh, this country family. They are living in about the Depression era and they are, um, you know, they're not really well off. They, uh, Gregory Peck plays the father. He is, you know, he takes, he takes care of his son. His mother, uh, lost several kids and, you know, she's not really emotionally attached to her son because she's afraid that she might lose him. And so, you know, because of this disattachment, uh, she doesn't like him having pets or anything because, you know, she just doesn't want to get emotionally involved. Well, after Gregory Peck gets bitten by a snake and uh, kills a deer to uh, place her organs on his wounded hand, uh, the son says, you know, well, th this baby deer, uh, you know, nothing, uh, it, it doesn't deserve to live without a mother, so why don't I take care of it? So he takes care of uh, this baby deer, a yearling, and uh, that's pretty much the basic gist of the entire movie. He raises this baby deer and, you know, it causes trouble here and there, but, you know, he, uh, he tries to make do. The film won two Oscars, including Best Art Direction for Interior Design in a Colored Film and Best Cinematography for a Colored Film. And it was also nominated for five Oscars, including Best Picture, Best Actor in a Leading Role for Gregory Peck, Best Actress in a Leading Role for Jane Wyman, Best Director for Clarence Brown, and Best Film Editing. The Year Lane is an enjoyable film that, for the most part, I would say is aimed towards kids, um, may or maybe seven to 12, somewhere around there. Or in other words, I'd say that this is a family-friendly movie. Um, I wouldn't specifically call this a kid's movie, but, you know, it's it's definitely got, like, a lighter um, storyline, I guess, you know, a appropriate for kids. The film follows Gregory Peck's son, and, you know, he, he does, you know, kid things. You know, he has a, a friend who is of poor, you know, not as wealthy of a status. Um, he's crippled, and you know he he's friends with this kid. Uh, apparently, the kid you know makes great names for different pets and things. He has a pet raccoon, uh -huh. and you know it's uh, it, it basically follows his uh, main perspective throughout the entire film. Gregory Peck does a really good job in his performance. Uh, he was actually rather young when he made this film and you know he again did a really good job um you know very realistic role a very uh charismatic role and you know i I'd, I'd say he was uh probably the shining element of this film however i will say that that baby deer that he takes care of is the cutest thing you'll ever see uh on film seriously it's like better than any cat video on the internet but, yeah, I mean, it's it's the cutest damn thing I've seen in a long time. But, uh, anyway, Gregory Peck did a fantastic job. Jane Wyman was really good, too. Um, you know, she is a little emotionally disturbed in places, and, you know, she did a really good job. The cinematography was really good as well. I really liked a lot of the angles. I really liked a lot of the elements of this film. Um, you know, there's a couple of things here and there that I felt were either unnecessary or, you know, just, it was a little too hard to watch. Uh, specifically, um, there's a couple of dogs that are owned by Gregory Peck who are chasing after a bear. And, you know, the bear is throwing the dogs around, biting them and everything. And, you know, the, the dogs, they get hurt. And, you know, it's just, it's a little hard to watch because it is, it, to a point, realistic. And... You know, it, it said that it was, uh, you know, with uh, 
approval by the Humane Society of the of the 40s. So I mean, you know, it's it's better than no approval at all, but it was still a little hard to watch at places. Um, but you know, overall, I mean, it's a very enjoyable movie. Not necessarily one that you have to go rush out and see, but you know, I still really like this movie. I think it definitely has some very strong moral messages, you know, great message overall, and it's just, you know, a really good movie. Overall, I'm going to give The Yearling a 7 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, it, there are some things here and there that uh, I, I, I'm not really sure how to explain it, but I mean, it just, there are some parts of this film that I wasn't like 100% with, but you know, it's still a very enjoyable movie, very uh, kid-friendly film, I guess, and it, you know, had really good messages, really strong morals, and, you know, again, that baby deer is just cute as hell. Um, but anyway, uh, tell me, guys, have you seen The Yearling? If you have, what'd you think of it? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? What were, were your thoughts on the, uh, the story, the acting, the direction? Uh, have you read the book? If you have, what'd you think of it? Did you like the book? How does it compare to the movie? Comment below, let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you guys like this review, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe. Be sure to check out our other videos. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And as always, I am Corey, and I'll see you guys in the next one.